PHP tutorial. So in previous tutorial, we have seen that how we can implement uh, localization in our project. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create localization route. So for that, I'm going to use a plugin and you will get this uh, plugin link in my video description. And also, if you are not uh, seeing my previous tutorial, that you have to see the previous tutorial, which link also given in video description, because this both tutorial are connected. So first, I will uh, install and use this plugin. So for that, uh, you can see that it's a very simple plugin that is actually uh, created by Admet, and this person is uh, 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 a contributor in CAC PHP. Uh, developer team I think so it's a good plugin you can use without any problem so first I'm just going to install this plugin I'm just going to copy this and you just need to go in your composer location file or your project directory and I'm now in docker so I'm just going to um, in my docker container and just uh, giving this common composer require admit and then install this plugin So after you install this plugin, then you have to load this. You have to load this in application.php or in your middleware. We can give this command to load this automatically. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here. And you can see that our application.php has modified. So it has changed. And then it's very easy uh, if you just uh, not using any static route, uh, or predefined route then if you just uh, give this uh, uh, bunch of code in your routes.php then uh, your uh, your uh, route should be look like localization uh, so but i have used a predefined route for example if you see in here in my config and routes.php you can see that uh, that's all routes that i have actually predefined and this all routes in my route scope into this route scope so what i'm going to do i'm just uh, going here and just copy this line this route class this one and just paste it in my invoice and after this invoice i'm just copy here and paste so i'm just going to implement this uh, localization route only for this invoice actions that means invoice uh, index actions uh, only for one and rest of part I think you are able to do if I give you only one example So after add this route class the next thing that I wanted to do I'm just going to uh, Going in uh, middleware and just give this uh, settings in middleware. So uh, Where is middleware? It's in application.php in our uh, project. So I'm just going in application.php in our source folder and here i'm just going in down that's when it's in here uh, i'm in, in in middleware and then here i'm just going to copy this all line from here because uh, you don't need this middleware just from add from this portion copy this line and post it in here paste it in here so I'm just removing this language part. It's not actually mandatory. And the default language that have is set in English in here. So it's good, no problem. So now after save, uh, then you have to go in here in your project. So now if you just hit in, uh, in your uh, uh, local host now you can see that it automatically uh, giving you this en that means uh, language prefix in here so it will automatically come because it mentioned this plugin that uh, that uh, it will come automatically uh, when we will uh, configure this one okay so so you can see this the fragment lang will automatically prefix to your route which allow matches uh, this in post like this so it's automatically routing so but you are you you seeing this here is a error the missing controller has given when we add this en so we can fix this problem uh, by uh, 
creating a new route in here and that means the your your root route this is the root route the when you will uh, pink in your uh, domain name then you will redirect in here so in here i'm just going to create a route class in here okay so now say now see if you just save and reload you can see that en now uh, displaying in here now if you just change it to jp then you see the language has changed to jp so our route is now working perfectly the next next thing is so when you will change the language in here so you can see that if you go in this invoice this the side links when you click in here you can see that it's e and prefix uh, actually placed in here and uh, then your uh, route name if you just change it to jp you will see that it will convert the jp right so there is little bit changes in here that i have made so let's see in sidebar so i'm just going in template and element and this is the a side that you are seeing in here okay so you can see there is little bit change that i have created so in here in here in this link you can see that i have used the this url build uh, build method url class and build method in here for generate created the link but in here i just created my link in this list and this is actually the html uh, helper that i have used the cac php html helper that i have used so when you will create a route if you use this plugin then you have to create your all link that means your sidebar link uh, with this uh, cac php html helper that means html helper and link method that you have to use so so this is the this is the link that i have created i have used the html helper for created the link and this is that was the uh, link the simple HTML link where I just I just created the uh, change uh, well where, where I was uh, just created the link using the URL build method so you have to see you have to change your all build method by HTML link so you can see like this one this example so now see so we are going to in root directory so it is the root directory it is the english so if you just go in here it will not work uh, uh, sorry the prefix you will not see in here uh, but when you will go in localhost again Okay, so we're seeing the localhost again. So now if you go in here, it will work English. Again, go in your localhost. And this is the JP. I'm just changing this to JP. And if you go in again in boys, you will see the Japanese. It has not changed. But if you click in here, it will just convert it in English. Okay. So you can say, okay. Um, it's converting because I have not added this route class uh, so I'm just going to copy this one and I'm just create invoice I'm just add it in create invoice so hit this is the create invoice I'm just going to paste in here and just go reload again and just go in create invoice again so you can see is a changing to English the reason is you have to uh, change this uh, create invoice to uh, into the HTML link, uh, or you have to generate this link with HTML helper, like this way. So I'm just changing to this one. This for design actually. So it is actually icon plus. And this will be the create invoice. And that will be the mm, invoice and that will be the add. 
okay that you don't need to this one so now save now go in here and just I'm going to reload again here and this is the create invoice so you can see the JP now in here with this okay. JP in here and also you seeing this now it has changed because uh, our PU file have to change uh, you have to just copy this one and you have to change in in your PU file be, without that it will not uh, impact in here so So um, our PU file is in resources and locals, and this is the JP, and I'm in here. And uh, where is the add invoice? So I'm just going down. Okay, so this one. So I'm just replacing this one by add invoice. Uh, sorry, create invoice. It will be the create invoice. So this one. I'm just going to change it with this one. And also, I'm just going to EM also in here. Sorry, I'm a little bit slow today because not feeling actually good. Okay, so now you're seeing that uh, it has changed to JP. So that's the today's tutorial. So now the question that when you local, how you'll change your language using a drop down in here, right? So it's actually a homework. If you're not able to do, then let me know. Then I will give the next tutorial on this select box. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next.